Well, I'm hoping this doesn't get blocked because I swear anything to do with Dire Straits, <laughs> it gets blocked in uh, basically everywhere except like Britain. So weird. I've never seen anything like it. Um, but we're going to hopefully get it through because it's not technically Dire Straits performing this. So we'll see. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm trying. We are back with a song called Why Worry by Dire Straits, but it's being covered by <laughs> Mark and Chet Atkins and the Everly Brothers. Uh, it's from Chet and Friends, or no, Chet Atkins and Friends from 1987. It was a concert. Um, yeah, like I said, Mark Knopfler, who originally wrote this, it comes on the Brothers in Arms track or album, I believe. Um, and I, I've heard of Chet Atkins, obviously. I've never listened to him knowingly. Maybe I've heard a song or two without knowing it was him, but um, I know he's a legend. Um, I've heard a few songs by Mark, let's say, just a couple. And then um, the Everly Brothers, I've done one track for. And that was a cover or a song that Paul wrote for them. It wasn't a cover. Paul wrote that song for them, Paul McCartney. So a lot, lots of new stuff. Let's go. Thank you to our Alpha Patron Cora, as always. I'm excited to check this out. And if y'all aren't subscribed, help brother out. Click that icon right there, somewhere. <laughs> it really helps. And if you leave a like and a comment, I'd love it. It, it would really help. All right. Why Worry by Mark Knopfler, Chet Atkins, and the Everly Brothers. Three, two, one, go. Three blind minds. Thank you, I Court. remember I that. How about that? <laughs> you stole that melody. I never knew that till now, Mark. <laughs> Why? Should be laughter after pain. There should 
should be sunshine after rain These things have always been the same Mark is so happy So why don't we Wow, that's a Dire Straits song. I know that's probably nothing like the actual one. All Love. Oh man, I wish I kept going, honestly. Yeah, because I think the um, the Dire Straits one's like over eight minutes long. Um, I think it was on Brothers in Arms. And um, I was going to like, I was thinking about pairing it up with this one, but... Now I think it, it's probably good that I didn't because now I can go and do its own video because I haven't done a Dire Straits video in a while. Um, and that kind of inspired me to go listen to it because um, just the way Mark plays, man, the chords he plays, the all the little tricks he throws on there, especially that that hammer on and that last note and that riff. It's just absolute delight, man. <laughs> Afternoon delight, literally. And it's um, just so special. He's such a when I say niche, I wouldn't say niche. Uh, he's so he, he's definitely carved out his own niche because before Dire Straits and after Dire Straits, there's definitely a difference because they were um, such a unique band. You can't really like put them in a box like you can put them in a overall rock box. You know what I'm saying? But they throw in a little bit of. I don't even know everything. They they there's like a little bit of hard rock, honestly a little bit of like rockabilly and country at points. There's kind of slow lovey ballads, you know? Like they you just can't pin them down. You can't pin Mark down. He's like a very enigmatic figure. I've used that kind of term to describe him before because he doesn't seem to have an ego and he kind of seems to be okay to f like fall into the background which a lot of stars aren't okay with that they want to be the shining star at all times literally <laughs> that's why they're called stars um they want to be um seen and heard and everything acknowledged at all times and they need their ego stroked and oh how dare this song you know my song be performed by other people you know and, and i've definitely heard of it happening but he seemed content just sitting back and letting um the everly brothers sing that perfectly um, the harmonies they get, obviously the brothers, I'm guessing <laughs> they're called the Everly brothers. So that's what I'm guessing. Um, they get that family harmony in a way, you know, just like we listened to the Bee Gees earlier today and all three of them, their harmony is just deadly. It's like the CSN harmony. It's those guys aren't brothers, but they were just that they were born to sing together though. I'll, I'll give you that much. Um, I didn't really get much of Chet here. Like I said, I don't know much about him. I know he's an absolute legend. I know that much. But I felt like this is more Mark and the Everly Brothers. Like Chet Atkins is there definitely and like playing the acoustic with the Everly Brothers too. And I kind of heard all like throughout the layering of the guitars and the keys, like there was a lot of different guitar parts going on and tracks, but there was also the keys underneath it all. It's very ambient and very late 80s keys. <laughs> that Casio, that's what it sounded like. And um, it just kind of gave it a flavor to it, you know? Um, it dates it in a way, but that's not a bad thing, you know? Um, but I want to hear more of Chet Atkins now. I, like, I feel like I know the Everly Brothers a little bit, even though we haven't gone back and listened to their old stuff, which was like their big stuff from back in, I guess, the 50s and the 60s. Um, Definitely want to do that, but I want to hear more Chet Atkins now because, like, I felt I feel kind of robbed now that I was expecting to. Okay, now I'll know about Chet Atkins. I don't really know much about Chet Atkins. I know as about as much as I did beforehand. Um, but Mark, uh, no matter what, like I said, you can't put him in a box, and he's always going to give you something great. And that chord progression, that hammer on—I mean, just that whole little riff—it's so melancholic 
and not even like memory inducing, but it go- it does kind of put you in like an introspective kind of mood, you know. But if I listen to that a couple times, I could probably unlock some stuff that's been buried for a while there. Uh, it's very relaxing. Kind of feels like you're going down a lazy river in a way. You know, you're just soaking in the sun. Everything's going by slow. It's beautiful. There's kids screaming. Then you tell the kids to be quiet. And then it just goes from there, you know. <laughs> um, you see, There isn't really anything on this. I don't know who the other musicians are. Um, like I said, it's from Chet Atkins and Friends from 1987. That's all I know. And it has the Everly Brothers and Mark Knopfler. But you knew that already. So I don't know why I'm still talking. Thank you to our Alpha Page and Cora for another great pick. As always, I appreciate you, Cora. I really do. Um, I kind of needed that. That that's, feels like uh, like an oasis in a desert right now. It's very uh, much solace from the storm, you know, because it is true. Like, why worry? At the end of the day, we're not making out of this game alive. We're not. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you pray or wish or what, no, uh, all things must pass. You really do. But why worry? If that's what's the end goal anyway, if that's what's going to happen anyway, might as well enjoy your life while you're here, right? I kind of took that the wrong way, though, as a younger person. It's still sage advice, but I was like, oh, I should go do lots of heroin. That's the best idea ever, you know? And uh, and then I found out you can mix cocaine with it. What? What? Come on, man. That's not fair, you know? And then um, everything else, um, that stuff came into my life and everything else left. <laughs> That's how I look at it. And um, I'm glad that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Because that's a hell of a lifestyle having to wake up every morning and uh, finding out some kind of scheme or some kind of, you know, just to make a little bit of money to maybe get what you need and then worry about food and drinks and whatever else afterwards. You know, it's just a terrible lifestyle. It's so lonely. And you surround yourself with people who do the same thing to try and make yourself not feel as bad. You know, you're like, oh, well, these people are doing it, so it can't be that bad. But they're all doing the same exact thing. So you guys are just screwing each other, basically, in more ma- in more ways than one, usually, too. So it's um, it's not, it's not conducive for anything, you know, and it just sets you backwards over and over and over. And eventually you just die from that. And that sucks. I've lost so many friends that way, but I just refuse to um go out that way. If I go out. Uh, anything but that <laughs> you know what i mean anything but that god that'd be a bitch right mm. well rest in peace to everybody who we've all lost along the way but don't worry that's the <laughs> message of the song <laughs> see i can't i can't say that with a straight face because i i don't know i i was listening to it and it, it's a beautiful song but there are things you got to worry about, you know, <laughs> especially if you want this life to be somewhat like a modicum of success or a modicum of comfort or anything like that. You know, it's you got to put in some work. You got to have some worry. That's just life. You know, this is a nice way to de-stress from the day and, you know, all that, I'd say. But I don't know. There are some things you need to worry about. But what I said still stands. We do. We don't make it out of this alive. So in the end, big, big scheme of things that don't matter. But for the small day-to-day things, it definitely matters. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of that song? Should I do the original Dire Straits song now? I will if you guys want me to. So let me know. See you later. Oh, well, see, I was almost cool. Let's try that again. One, two. And if you are in search of a musical community (laughs) and you'd like to see a video done just like this for you, uh, Look in the description. There's a link for our Patreon community. Uh, Join the $15 tier or up. You get one free request a month. Uh, If you join, just look at the September Patreon request thread. It'll be the pin post on there. It'll have all the rules and regulations and such, shall we say, for the request. Uh, There's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching, y'all. I will see y'all later.